Hi, and welcome back. I'm Pat Rich from the production department here at Sorensen Media. With Squeeze 7, you can now export directly from Premiere Pro CS5, and today I'll show you how. Exporting directly from Premiere Pro cuts out the time-consuming step of exporting a video just to encode it again for delivery. Direct export also increases the quality of the video since you aren't encoding the same file twice. In addition, you can publish directly from your timeline with Squeeze Publishing Presets, which also include notifications for you and your end user. Exporting directly takes the jobs of encoding for delivery, publishing, and notifying out of your workflow. Let's get started. Here in Premiere Pro CS5, I have my project file open and ready for export. To export it, go to File, Export Media, or press Command-M on a Mac or Control-M on a PC. This brings up the Export Settings dialog window. The trouble is that I know that I'll be compressing this video immediately after into WebM and pushing it to my Sorensen 360 account for distribution. So instead of compressing it twice, I would rather do it directly. With Squeeze 7, you can. If I go here to Format and choose Squeeze WebM, then I can choose a preset that does just that. I can also choose from any of the other presets I have in Squeeze. Squeeze has many presets for virtually any workflow, and if you can't find what you're looking for, you can always download one from the preset exchange. I can also customize my preset with filters, publishing destinations, and notifications. In this preset, I have my WebM video being delivered to my Sorensen 360 account, included for a year with Squeeze 7. And I've got a notification set up to let me know when it's done. I can set notifications for email or SMS text. However, presets from Squeeze won't dynamically update in Premiere. So if you add a preset or make changes to a preset, you need to close and reopen Premiere for them to take effect. Going back to Premiere, I can now choose Export Now or Q in Adobe Media Encoder. I'm going to export this directly by clicking Export. Now I could also queue multiple project files in Adobe Media Coder and still have them encode with Squeeze. Skipping ahead a bit, I can see that I've received my email notification with a link. If I click on that link, it takes me to 360 where my video has been uploaded and is ready to go. So you can save time, increase your final output quality, and publish directly to your destinations all without leaving Premiere Pro CS5 with Sorensen Squeeze 7.